when your franchise is up for renewal, your options will be written into the franchise agreement. But essentially it works like this. Most franchises have an initial term and they have at least one option to extend term. What that means is that your franchise agreement says your term is, say, 10 years. Uh, at a point between three and six months before that 10 years is up, if you are not in breach of your franchise agreement and if you give a notice in the right format, in the right way, at the right time to your franchisor, then you will have a right to force the franchisor to extend the term for the option period. Now that might be two years, five years, it might be any time, but it'll be specified in the first franchise agreement that you sign. What happens if you exercise your option to extend is that the franchisor should acknowledge receiving that and should confirm that you have validly exercised your option. You really need to chase your franchisor to get that before your term ends so that you know where you're at. Some franchisors are a bit slack with that, but you really need to have that piece of paper that says, yes, we accept that you're not in breach and you have validly extended. You'll then be handed, unfortunately, another set of franchise documents for your next term. That new set of franchise documents will be the then current version, which might be substantially different from the one that you signed all those years ago when you started. It's important that you check that one, you know what the differences are between your original obligations and your new obligations. And two, that your new obligations are still economically viable based on what you've been doing in the last couple of years of your original term. You might also be asked to pay an additional fee for the extension. Now, if you're asked to pay an additional, an additional fee for the extension of that franchise, that additional fee must have been specified in your original documentation. If it isn't, then you do not need to pay. A little trap that you need to be aware of. Um, there's a growing trend now for franchisors to realise that because their initial franchise terms might be 5, 7, 10, sometimes 15 years, there's very little opportunity for them to shift the posts on you during that term. What they're doing is they're sliding this information into the procedures manual. So be aware that there are sometimes obligations that will creep into your procedures manual that are not procedures. And it's important that you be alert to that. Uh, every franchise document says that the franchisee must follow the procedures manual as amended from time to time. But um, some things are not procedures. Things like new fees. Uh, for example, a lot of franchise groups are now going to 1-3 or 1-300 numbers so that uh, clients can make a call um, if we're talking about pizza for example. They might make a call from many miles from their home um, and order a pizza to be delivered to their home. Now that call and that job will go to the nearest outlet to the delivery site even though the call might have come from another territory. The cost of running that system initially was horrific. It's becoming quite reasonable now. 1-3 and 1-300 numbers don't cost a lot. But these things, there have been attempts at times to slide these additional things into the procedures manual and they are not procedures. They are additional costs and you should be asked to consent to them as a franchise group. So just be aware uh, of subtle changes to your procedures manual over time, particularly um, midstream. Uh, when you get to extending your franchise agreement, you'll have to cop the then current version, no matter what that is and no matter what it says. Uh, my suggestion would be to get a copy of that before you choose to exercise your option to extend so that you know what it says.